Is the sound quality better when the frequency response curve of a speaker is straighter? At first glance, this question may seem simple. However, it is quite profound because it involves the auditory characteristics of the human ear, the acoustic environment of the room, and various tuning standards in the professional audio industry. Let's begin by discussing the frequency response curve standard. Analyzing standards such as the equal loudness, Harman, X, and other professional frequency response curves. This will help uncover the nuances behind the frequency response curve you may not know. So, does a straighter frequency response curve mean better sound? First, it's essential to understand that the frequency response curve represents the balance of a speaker's output across different frequencies. An ideal frequency response curve resembles a horizontal straight line, indicating that the speaker performs consistently at all frequencies without significant peaks or dips. However, the question remains, does a straighter frequency response curve produce better sound quality? The answer is not necessarily. To fully understand the meaning behind the frequency response curve, we need to analyze it from several perspectives. Equal loudness curve. Let's start with the concept of the equal loudness curve, which many people may be familiar with. First, we should consider how our ears work. According to the equal loudness curve, the human ear perceives sounds of different frequencies differently. The structure of the ear affects how we respond to sound. In essence, the sound that reaches our eardrum has already undergone some changes. The human ear is most sensitive to mid-range frequencies, specifically between 1000 and 5000 Hz. In contrast, our ability to perceive low and high frequencies is relatively weaker. As a result, if a speaker's frequency response curve is too flat, listeners may find that the high frequencies do not sound bright enough and the bass does not feel powerful enough. This is similar to driving a car. If you adjust the rear view mirror to be perfectly straight, you may struggle to see the cars behind you. Therefore, a flat frequency response curve may not align with our hearing preferences. This is why, in speaker design, adjustments to enhance the high and low frequencies are often necessary. X-curve. Let's discuss the X-curve. In the cinema context, this is a frequency response standard specifically designed for movie sound effects. The sound requirements for movies and music differ significantly. In a cinema, the sound system often intentionally reduces specific high frequency ranges. Sometimes, this attenuation of high frequencies is unintentional, as the projection screen can also diminish these frequencies. This adjustment is necessary to accommodate the acoustic reflections and high frequency attenuation in large spaces. Excessively high frequencies can result in a harsh listening experience in such vast environments. Thus, the mid-high frequencies in the X-curve are intentionally lowered to ensure that what the audience hears is more pleasant. For home theaters, having a completely flat frequency response curve can lead to uncomfortable listening experiences. The X-curve, therefore, emphasizes adapting the sound to the environment rather than simply pursuing a straight line in the frequency response. Harman Curve Let's examine the Harman Curve, often referred to as the gold standard for headphone audio. This curve enhances the low frequency range, producing a more powerful bass response. The higher frequency range is also slightly boosted, which adds more detail to the sound. The mid-frequency range maintains a relative balance, ensuring that none of the frequencies overshadow the others. The Harman curve highlights the importance of a subtly curved frequency response, which better aligns with the human ear's perception of sound, unlike a perfect straight curve measured in an anechoic chamber. The Harman Curve is designed to imitate more suitable, typical home listening environments with speakers, using headphones and the natural characteristics of human hearing. Room Acoustics A speaker's frequency response curve is closely related to the acoustic structure of the room in which it is placed. The actual environment of the room is more significant than many people realize. Let's discuss an often overlooked factor. Room Acoustics Room Treatment Regardless of the speaker's quality or how well its frequency response curve measures in an anechoic chamber, its performance can be significantly affected by the room's structure, reflections, sound absorption, standing waves, and other factors once placed in an actual room. For instance, low frequencies can easily create standing waves in a relatively small space, leading to an exaggerated bass response. Conversely, 
High frequencies may sound harsh or diminished due to reflections from walls and furniture. Therefore, even if a speaker exhibits a perfectly flat frequency response curve in an anechoic chamber, placing it in your living room or bedroom can significantly decrease its performance. This is one reason many preamplifiers and receivers now come equipped with room calibration systems. These systems allow adjustments to accommodate the room's acoustics, helping the speakers perform optimally in different spaces. In summary, it's crucial to remember that just because a speaker has a flat frequency response curve doesn't guarantee a good sound quality. The quality of the speaker itself is just as important as the adjustments made for the specific environment. Additionally, factors such as the materials used in the speaker unit, the design and materials of the crossover, and the overall adjustment of the sound system are vital for achieving the best audio experience. Like the Aperion Audio Grandis series of high-fidelity speakers, the low and high frequencies are appropriately adjusted to achieve a more suitable balance for human ear perception. In particular, the tweeter diaphragm used in the Grandis series can effectively improve the high-frequency resolution. The woofer uses a proprietary design we call the AFG cone to enhance the low frequency, control and make the low frequency more powerful. At the same time, the crossover uses high-end customized silver foil capacitors, multi-stranded inductors, and non-inductive resistors. After more than a year of repeated adjustments, the sound was finally achieved to a level that we think is satisfactory and many professional reviewers and customers have also recognized it. When evaluating speaker quality, looking beyond the frequency response curve is essential. The materials used in the speakers and the overall adjustments made are crucial for achieving the best sound quality. High quality materials and precise adjustments can create sound full of emotion and detail, rather than simply aiming for a flat frequency response. In summary, the frequency response curve should have a reasonable curvature. It doesn't need to be perfectly straight. Striving for a completely linear response may not result in better sound quality. Instead, it's essential to consider the non-linear characteristics of human hearing, the acoustic environment of the room, and your personal sound preferences. The Harman curve serves as a good guideline for frequency responses for headphones and in-ear monitors. And some home audio systems, aligning low and high frequencies more closely with natural human hearing. In contrast, the X-curve is more suitable for large theater spaces as it reduces high frequencies to address reflection issues. The equal loudness curve is also worth noting as it reminds us that the human ear doesn't perceive sounds across different frequencies linearly. Instead, our perception is curved. A frequency response that is too flat can diminish the richness of music. Finally, we encourage everyone not to chase after speakers that claim to offer perfect linear frequency responses. Truly great sound requires scientific adjustments to provide a comfortable and detailed listening experience. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section for discussion. Don't forget to like, follow, and save. That's all for this time. We hope you have a great time. Welcome to our Aperion University series. Here, we will introduce you to basic acoustics knowledge. We hope it will help you. If you like it, please follow us.